Hello everyone. Welcome to your next tarot tutorial. We're still doing the Major Arcana. That's the first um, 22 cards of the deck. There's 78 total. And we're going to be doing cards 5 through 10 today. So get out your tarot decks and let's get started. So the fifth card is, let's see if you can see it, is the Hierophant. And like I've said before, I do use the Rider Weight deck. But we should also include Pamela Smith, right? Because she always um, gets left out. She did the illustrations. So the Hierophant, oftentimes known as the Pope card, is a very stable card, even though it's a five. Fives are cards of change. So there is some duality with this card, which is kind of interesting. But when the Hierophant comes up, he talks about conforming, being stable, doing things in a traditional sort of way. Now, when he comes up and you're asking about the future of a relationship, a romantic relationship, he is the one that can marry you. It's a positive card for that. So, you know, great card. Uh, not a lot of negativity unless it's with certain other cards and it shows that the person's too rigid, okay? So he can remind you to not be quite so rigid followed by him, make sure I have these in order, the lover's card here. And you have Archangel Raphael looking down over the two lovers. And this is, first of all, a card of love, obviously. It's a card of two people coming together. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can indicate a business partnership. It can talk about contracts, things like that. But it's two entities coming together for a common good and a common goal. If you're doing a yes, no type reading and this comes up, this would be a yes. I know some of you were asking me more specifically, like what does each color mean? I do offer that in membership where I get into like, yes, okay, this is this color means this, this number means that, this is the astrology of this card, you know, that sort of thing. But this is just to get you guys going for those of you that just wanna start. Number seven, the chariot. The chariot moves forward, right? Ch that's what chariots do. Chariots go forward. Same thing with this card. So when you get this and say you're doing a romance reading, well, it's going to go forward. Or you're doing a business type reading. It's going forward. Whatever you're asking about, the contract, the deal, the promotion, it's going to go forward. Uh, am I going to get that house? It's going to go forward. Now, the thing to remember about the chariot, just like the magician card, is that things don't happen by happenstance. They happen because the driver is taking control and causing it to go forward. So you need to do your part too, okay? Number eight, the strength card. So if you notice, this angelic figure here is gently working with this lion. And she's not doing it with brute force. She's very gentle. So she is so strong that she can be gentle and compassionate. She has inner strength, inner courage, and patience. Now, in terms of timing, okay, if you get this card, things are going slowly. If you get the chariot, things are going pretty fast, okay? Um, and for the other two, if you're looking at, say, the Hierophant or the Lovers, there's zero movement in these cards. So if you're looking at timing, nothing's happening in terms of timing, right? So they're slow moving cards. So this is probably one of the slower moving cards in the deck, just so you know. Okay. But it may be a reminder that you need to use your inner strength, your inner courage. This could be a reminder from your guides, your angels your loved ones on the other side, that you're stronger than what you know, but you also need to have a bit of patience. Number 10, this is probably one of my favorite cards here, the Hermit. Um, I'm sorry, not, no, I apologize, number nine, number nine. Um, and I should know that because this is actually my card because if you do your life path number, and I do have a video on membership about how you do your life path number, um, you can do... Uh, you know, like you can figure out which card is yours. And so mine is the Hermit, which I say is probably pretty good for me. You know, I'm not somebody that is very extroverted, but not just is he more introverted, but he's someone who enjoys learning and teaching. 
And he also reminds you, because he has this lantern here, to take things one step at a time. The lantern is only illuminating what's right in front of him. It's not illuminating way into the future, just right in front of him. Okay. This could also mean that you have a mentor or you're going to be a mentor um, in the near future and that there's more for you to learn, um, like another class to take, a certification, something, something more that you need to learn and that you should be going inwards, being more introspective, reflective, meditative, contemplative. Okay. Now we come to number 10. So number 10 is the Wheel of Fortune card. And this is a fun card to break down. But basically what this means is you're coming to this turning point in your life where you're coming into your karmic destiny, okay? This is a turning point where you're coming into what you agree to with your soul contract, your mission in life, your life purpose, that whatever is happening it's bigger than just the mundane, just the day-to-day -day things, that this is something important, but it is a, a change that's coming into your life. And it's one that you had already agreed to. There is karma attached to this card. So if you enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments. If you have questions, go ahead and ask, um, unless it's like the real specific ones and, you know, because I mean, I break down every single card in membership. I really do. Um, but, you know, for these purposes here, you know, I think a lot of you just want to get off and running with your tarot deck. You just want to learn how to do tarot for yourself. But yeah, if you have some basic questions and comments, you know, please put it in the, the comments down below this video and let me know. Okay. All right, everybody. Bye.